<laughs> Alright guys, here we are for a movie review for the movie Dude Bro Party Massacre 3. Don't feel uh, like you've been left out, there is no 1 and 2. Oh, I'm so happy. I, I, have ne I had never heard about this before. I saw the uh -huh. title. I, I, th 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 this was like late at night. Uh -huh. I'm like, should I watch this tonight? Should I watch this tomorrow? What do I do? It's earlier in the week, right? I was like, it's getting late. Let me just hit play. And if it seems like it's the thing I think it is, I'll just turn it off and then I'll come back and I'll like power through it later. I don't know what's going to happen here, uh -huh. right? I turned it on. As is, I loved everything about it. It's amazing. I had so much fun. This is like, um, I want to say like perfect in certain ways, and I really, I'm, I'm glad that it exists. And if you disagree, you'll break my heart. What did you think? So this is the five second films, guys. Uh, this reminds me of like a Chris Seaver esque project. Also a bunch of uh, Rocket Jump and Jimmy sure. Game High School. Uh, yeah, there was uh, Freddie Wong, not uh, Freddie Wong, uh, his brother Jimmy Wong yeah. was in this. Um, yeah, a couple of people you've seen from this and that. Uh, no, but it was it, like some parts were so funny in this yeah. movie. Uh, so the the premise of the the film, uh, or I should say, just going into it, I had never seen it before. Uh, okay, you had never seen it before. How either. did you hear about I this? I came did you find across this? this as a. Uh, uh, I was in one of my like DVD forum talking things, and somebody had mentioned it, and like how it was like a rare gem or something. <laughs> and then like I was like I was like oh, I would like to see this movie because like they compared like like so, like it to another movie that I liked, and yeah. I can't remember what the the comparison I was. was. Say, what's the comparison? Um, but I, I tracked it down, and like there was an old website that like was barely functioning for this movie's release. Oh no! And okay. uh, I picked it up from them, and like uh, like I ordered it, and like. Like felt like two weeks later, I got a message saying it is shipped, and I was like, "This is just like some dude and like taking care of this website." Oh man! Okay. Uh, so it came in the mail, and uh, oh, 2015. Interesting. Yeah. I thought it was a little more recent than that, and that we were catching it on the like, "Oh man, this is great." The, no, no, it, it no. is not like older, but it's not yeah. it's not a brand spanking new. That's old enough where if I haven't heard about it elsewhere, I mm -hmm. feel like, "Oh no, it didn't like." hit the way I, it, it, I, it I bought hit. it honestly because I was like I think this will be one of those ones that I won't be able to find again no this is this after is, a little while this is a thing yeah. uh, but I, I think this will probably make us round into the Amazon Prime worlds uh, I know. would hope based on some of the shit that's already on there it's awful yeah. something like this can be on there uh, yes so uh, just had never seen it had really little to know about it but I was like oh, I would like to get this movie and I bought it uh, yeah. and then you know we watched it for this this review uh, but so the premise of the movie is it, it's a it's like a spoof on the genre uh, of, yeah. of horror movies it, I would describe it as the Kung Fury of the um, summer, like Revenge of the Nerds, like summer bro, whatever movie plus horror aspect. Yeah, right I think together. that's accurate. Yeah, uh, uh, it 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 also like spoofs the uh, the franchises of these things in that it starts in yeah. the in, in the the third <laughs> volume. It it runs through what happens in volume one and two real quick as the movie opens. And uh, it just, it's so many, like, plots coming say, like, together. We can't even really just, like, give you, like, a quick plot synopsis of this because it's so dense the, with, the like, stuff. The easiest, like, simplest way yeah. I could break it down would just be, like, there is a, a uh, like, a killer woman called uh, Motherface. Motherface. And uh, she is trying to kill a bunch of bros. Yeah, and they go to a cabin for whatever reason the plot contrives for them to go there and yes. they're getting picked off. But, like, it's so dense with content and jokes and references and things. It's a million skits um, just kind of shoved it's together a, to, a, like, to make this, yeah. this funny, this funny uh, system. Um, Andrew W.K. makes an appearance. Relax, bros! It's me! Yeah, okay. I wrote down the cameos. Uh, the, the best, uh, and like, in that <laughs> I laughed at it, and I was like, what? Larry yeah. King's cameo. Larry King gets impaled. Uh, he's like, <laughs> like nice he's, throw! He's like coach whatever for yeah. two seconds. So the way this is structured, um, there's an intro that says this was banned by President Reagan, and the only reason we have it is because some teenager taped it on his VCR. Yeah. So there's like little fake commercials in it. Siskel and Ebert say Pizza Goblins is family magic. Two thumbs way down. It is presented in glorious four by three full screen, yeah. broad, you know, broadcast aspect ratio. The bottom of the screen half the time has a little like a little v tearing. VHS like bend thing. Like it's perfect. I can't even. Um, no, I'm it's, a it's huge a, fan. It's a very good. It's a very good shot. Like and um, some of these jokes really landed. Like of course in any comedy you're gonna throw out like you know ten and only like maybe six stick. Yeah. But the ones that stick. Oh, they're delicious. No, and like I, I, I so Larry, there's some like mighty Boosh quality stuff yeah. in there. But Larry King, uh, Patton Oswalt, yep, Andrew W. K. and Nina Hartley, who's a porn star. I was gonna say, I she, don't know who that is. She was the dean of whatever. I had to look that up. Oh, I'm the old like, lady. But I'm like, you're someone. Yeah, the okay. old, the older, <laughs> older woman with all the makeup, the Goldie Hawn with a lisp, uh, you know, actress. That was like, 
you've done this for the last time. No, like, so I guess, you know, without running down every, because we, we are, so, uh, did you like this movie? Oh, yeah. Would you recommend this movie? I would, I would certainly recommend okay. it. I don't know if I, it'll be an easy one to, uh, to find, but, uh, I was going to say. I have my fingers crossed that it will become into the public eye easily. I, I don't know how we can help it that. It may already be there. I didn't really do a lot of Googling on it. I just, uh, I, I'm a person who likes to own the DVD. It's very upsetting. And I don't, yeah. uh, going forward in, in DVD life, there's there's not uh, a ton being made. So if you don't get certain things in that early shot, the prices, they skyrocket so yeah, high. Yeah, like a So like thing I have for a couple of movies recently, like paid sticker price just to make sure that I got a copy of something. Totally. And something like quote unquote smaller like this, that that's not just going to be flooded yeah, out. Yeah, it may only press I'm a like, I'm like concerned because this is like I totally agree that you know this is amazing this is worth watching and it's better than it ha like like whatever you're thinking it might be I, I think it's like better than that it has this awareness of 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 the genres that it's spoofing and of comedy and of like timing that I thought was like really impressive and all that stuff if you want just go watch the movie I guess because it's because it's amazing I can't even uh, <laughs> I can't a lot even of and like some stuff. jokes they harp on a little bit and like I might not have liked it when it started, but when it ended, I got yeah. back like the bang bus joke. Like, uh, yeah, exactly. He, he uh, one of the characters is trying to run a library, a mobile library. Yeah, and, and he's like, he's like, because when I first read a book, it's just like bang, I got this. Oh, no, it's, wanna, it's like that's what so I want to do. I want to I want to make a bang bus <laughs> so I can bang the kids or whatever. No, and like that sounds dumb, right? You're kind of like whatever, right? But this is like a this is like a running side plot. There's a little road trip for two cops mm -hmm. that happens that that you didn't even need for the movie. You'd like. That's like no, above, uh, it's the, above and the, beyond. The right? male cop. Have you watched five second films? No. He is uh, like, you know, I, the, he's the head. I imagine he was like the director of. It. I didn't actually look too. Hard I looked into up it. all that shit. So let's take a quick. I don't minute. know his name either, so I couldn't even say. His it's name him. is Brian Ferenzi. Yeah, that he, sounds like him. He's credited as the editor. And, okay. he has, and he has a bunch of Rocket Jump and video game high yeah, school yeah. stuff on his thing. What like made that joke that you're talking about for me is later when he's like pushing the uh, car, she says, maybe call it like the whatever thing. He's like, nope, too wordy. Doesn't have the same punch as Bang Bus. We got to bang the kids. Or like, that's something. Oh, God. Uh -huh. Like, it's, um, it's the awareness of the joke that they're making. Yes. And joking about the joke they're making. He wants to bang children's minds. No, it's not as catchy. It's not it's too long. It's too thought out. It's too involved. Like in the flashback, the guy says something different. We didn't establish he has a fear of heights or whatever. Yeah. Like things like that where I'm like, that's so, like, I can't, I, I lack the words that they would have to explain. No, it, it's, like, um, it's a group of funny people being funny. Like and, it, it's a gang, like a comedy troupe coming together to make this yes. nice movie. And like, and there's no, like, there's no throwaway. There's no stuff where it's like, oh, they, you know, they think this is really funny, but like it's totally not. And like, I guess this one guy just wanted to do that. And uh, maybe for you there uh -huh. was, but for me there was nothing that was like extra or forced. If you look at like the writing credits, all of the main bros are all credited as writers. Uh -huh. <laughs> but like the main guy, who's like the twin, is the screenplay creditor guy. Okay. Or whatever. So he, I think, was like, I'm gonna be the main character. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> and like, and like did this all and, and like put it together or something like that. Mm. But um, no, like without going through like a list of all the, of, of, of and just saying the jokes again, right? They're all so good. I can't even. There's a lot of great um, setup, and then you forget about something and it comes back. Um, yeah. Like the, the ones for me are the oranges and Andrew WK's character in general. <laughs> okay. So like <laughs> Andrew WK's character early on in a montage, like climbs up onto the roof to like fix something, yeah. and they like some guy takes the ladder and just walks away, and you never see his character again until after like the credits or whatever, and he's like yep. he's like they'll come back for me, la la la, la. yeah, <laughs> and uh, like. I totally forgot he was in the movie. Like he just, cause so many people come and go and die. That you're like, ah, oh, he must have just died. I must have just forgot yeah. about it. And well, then when he's alive again, I'm like, oh yeah, he did climb the ladder to the roof. It's the kind of movie where if they just forgot about a character, that would be normal and fine. Yeah. It has the level of like seriousness or like cohesion and like reality ness that you'd be like, whatever. Mm -hmm. He like, I you know, I guess Andrew WK's cameo is over, right? Yeah. But yeah, over the credits, and to have him be, it's Andrew WK. So he has a little keyboard and he's doing yeah. he's doing a little song up on the uh -huh. roof. Like it's brilliant. And he's eating an orange because oranges like Are rain down the, the sky. sky. Like that's so like I I I'm I'm not doing it justice here with my feeble uh, language skills, but like that's so above and beyond and and above and beyond again what you needed t to like make this this joke work. Like like what's mm -hmm. the joke? Oh, it's like one of those old movies, except we're like oh, it's like except it, it you know it's not funny by accident. It's like funny on purpose. We're just gonna yeah. make it funny, right? So many things, though, were so crazy and, like, over the top and all that I'd stuff. I'd love to know what the budget for the film was. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, they did they did the like a great thing with what the budget they had, and I think if they would have been given, 
like a movie's budget, they could have made one of the most ridiculous movies of all time. Uh, <laughs> okay. and, and I feel that way with a, like a lot of things where I'm not like a lot of movies in this type of genre, like this uh, this spoofy, low budgety type of thing. Sometimes they're they're enhanced by the fact that they're done really shit tier. But this movie, I think I think could have been even crazier if it had a bigger budget. Sure. Like uh, like LBP stuff, I think are are great because of what they are. Right. Um, like so, if you gave Teen Ape, uh, like you know, ten million dollars, I don't think it would be better than Teen Ape at ten thousand dollars. Would it be worse than Teen Ape? At it 10, might 000? be. Yeah, exactly. It might exactly. indeed be. I agree. But this movie, I think, if this would have gotten a theatrical release and and like you know, yeah. uh, like you know, twenty million dollar budget, I think could have been one of those like, no, that's the comedy everyone laughs about forever. That, that's the next airplane. That's like yeah, it. no, like it only gets better. And I think because of our ages too, I don't know how many movies similar to this you watched or something mm -hmm. like that. But some of the stuff that they would hit, like when it flashes back and he's a twin and he has to dance with himself and then he's uh -huh. like all filmed all crazy because he can't do that or whatever. Yeah. Like they didn't do any weird stuff. They just filmed it the way that you would have filmed it in the 80s or whatever. Like certain yeah. things like that are so like I, I keep using the word perfect. I don't know. Uh, similar to that, what one of the things that got me is when he's like, and to tell you the truth, I forgot who Sizzler was, but I figured I'd just play it cool and go with it. And yeah. Because like, it's that character in the movie where you're like, oh, yeah, that, you know, that was his name or when something When he's like walking that. through the different shots saying just gonna Sizzler. Say. So he's like, Sizzler? And he's like looking for him with a flashlight. But then it, it like keeps cutting to all the places that you've been. Like he's outside, he's next to the thing, he's in the kitchen, he's doing this. But then he shows up like in other parts of the movie where it's daytime yeah. or like in he or shows in up past, he shows uh, up in the flashback looking uh, for like things like that like it's so difficult to do that and have it work the way that it like worked here mm -hmm. i'm so impressed by all this by the by the by what came together this was, this was such a a delightful treat when uh the girlfriend who comes along and uh and the boyfriend dies in the tent, and she's running towards them, and they just like punched her to the yes. ground. That part had me laughing. That was it was like it was a good movie. This was a solid. Uh, I would say it's a laugh a minute kind of movie where like yeah, because because they're throwing out probably ten jokes a minute. Like, and this is not something where it's like oh yeah, well it's like shitty, but it's funny, and they're doing a thing, so I have to weigh that and tell you beforehand. Hey man, this is not like a movie movie. It's like a funny. Like I don't have to do, like I, I I feel like if you're on board with like this thing that they're trying to do, this is perfect. Perfect and 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 it just works like perfectly or something like that. This is Lee's um, first ten out of ten movie. Possibly, yes. No, like uh, if I have to weigh something on like how well did it do the thing that that it that's trying to do, it's a ten out of ten. Mm -hmm. Basically, I might actually give it like an eight or like a nine in terms of my own like things. Like um, I I. I can't think of things that would make this better. I can't think of things that like it. You know, this did poorly. No, it, it hit. It hit like like there's a joke where the guy's like burying and hiding beers like a squirrel. Yes. And like a moment after he buries one, he, he dives for it and right takes it out of the ground and takes it out. Like there, no, there are so many like, jokes and and like funny bits of movie that I, I definitely forget. A majority of them, and I didn't take like notes and write down things. Oh yeah, yeah. His intestines like unraveling down the toilet. Into the toilet was amazing. That one I've seen in a couple Some of movies. Some of those deaths. Oh yeah, I've never yeah. seen that before. And uh, and this is over the top. But then like like I just wrote down like a few deaths or something uh -huh. like that when she stabs the girl who says that she's pregnant and there's like a tiny fetus yeah. on the thing or something like that. Like that's the kind. When of the tiny the top, fetus though. comes back into him as a soul to give <laughs> him power, and he comes back as like a Hulk. <laughs> yeah. So he defeats Motherface by all the bros like joining forces. Uh -huh. They're all force ghosts. They give him bro power. They're all they're all Jedi blue glowing ghosts that come back and join with him. And yeah, he pumps up and, and in the credits that actor's credited as Brotherface. <laughs> like things like that. Like so many jokes so many jokes. There's jokes in the credits. There's jokes mm -hmm. you could miss. There's jokes in the background. There's jokes everywhere. W right in the very beginning, and this, I think, was the moment when I was like, I I'm just going to watch this whole movie now. He's, like, taking the tour of the frat house. Uh-huh. And, like, there, you know, there's jokes, and there's, jo like, like there's no wheelchair ramp, and then, like, his one friend has, like, PTSD, but he's, like, he's kind of a bitch. And he does, like, <laughs> like those things, and I'm like, okay, this is funny. But then he's, like, running up the stairs, and he goes, coming! And, like, all, like, high-pitched and stuff, and he goes, I'm here and like starts talking like himself again and uh -huh. i was like oh that's like that you know that's like chris siever that's like low yeah but this little knowing thing this funny little thing like why is that in there what what like that's not a big enough joke to be like that's a joke we have to do this joke but it's this little i picture a lot of that just being in. done 
like on the on the moment. Yeah, it's I like wonder an how much thing. Yeah. I wonder how much is actually all like is scripted if it's yeah. like a fifty fifty thing because these are just like you know funny comedians that do these little videos and bits and stuff constantly. If they just were like, all right, I'm gonna do it this way, do it six different ways. We'll take the one that's best. Cool. Yeah, exactly. Because 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 they're all such funny people. I feel like that's the real writing credit mm -hmm. and you know aspect. Ernest, that's Brent Chirino, Brock's twin brother. He transferred here after Brock was killed in that brutal freak accident. Ah, oh, you know I've been trying to work on my temper, Sebastian. Improvements, I think just just throwing them more money would be the only thing I'd really say could could yeah. improve this film. I I enjoyed. Yeah, so I you know I'll say some of the stuff felt rushed or like they had to make do with whatever they had or something yeah. like that. Because sometimes it, you know it's intentional. Like we are homaging an old movie that wouldn't show that death or, that, mm -hmm. or, or or like wouldn't show this thing. But there's a really funny scene where like the half of the guy, you know, <laughs> falls, <laughs> drops into like, and then you're like, oh yeah, cause, because like like the bros during prank week like flooded a town and like killed thousands of yeah. people, and this is the like this lake now is where the town was, and that's the town, and it like breaks open the corpses or whatever. And that I don't know if they were trying to make it look fake like that, or if that was just that the, struck me as how it would whatever. have looked in a movie from okay. the seventies. I was sure, like, I was sure. like, yeah, that's fine. Well, that's what I mean. Like certain stuff, I think with more money, they would have made something look <laughs> worse, better. But I think if you would like, if you would have taken a crazy amount of money and made made this look like a like pristine movie from 2018 no, with no, all no. those things I think it would have I think it could have been a theatrical release movie that would have been crazy like, oh really oh yeah oh, okay, I think okay. I, I think you're going you in the opposite direction where like the charm <clears throat> of it was it's presentation no no no, well, well, no, no. they're definitely yeah. I think there's two reasons. So, like, definitely you're, you're, you're aping off of, off of, like, all the old movies and stuff, and yeah. you're filming it in that quality for two reasons. A, because it hides your sins, it's cheaper, but it also sells the joke a little bit. Yeah. But I think if you wanted to make a movie that competed with the scary movies of today, you could have filmed it in that, oh. in that way, and you could have done that. Like, it, yes, I think yes. this could have been a nice little resurgence of that style okay, in okay. a better way. Had you treated this more like Wet Hot American Summer than Kung yeah. Fury? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally. No, that that also would have worked, 100%. I think that would have been like, I've been like, oh, I would like to see what that does. But, like, I want to see them make more things. I, I would yeah. like to see... Uh, Dude, bro, Party Massacre 4. Well, so that's why it being 2015 now sinks my heart. It makes me go, oh, no. Because I would have thought that, you know, this would have been the launch. This is like the mm. Super Troopers for this group where they go, wow, everyone knows about you now and when's your next movie coming out? But it's been years and I haven't heard of it. They've done a lot of things. Um, I don't know. They're how busy many guys, right? Stuff. They yeah. do stuff. I'm not like saying that the, you know. But I would have thought that this would have been like, wow. Because even some, because like Kung Fury even is a hard sell, certain spoofs and certain things. I don't think whatever. it is a hard sell anymore. Um, I think that no? the, the world, is so in quotes nerdy now or oh. want to be nerdy or like you know yep. hipsterish that there is there's is no boundary I think that there are more people because there's a reason why Marvel movies are the most successful movies in the world and it's not because yeah. like the niche community really supports them it's because the world is that community now We're on and like now that. hipsters are like no I, I like things that are popular like <laughs> like yeah. like is, is different um, and we've seen some like pretenders coming out for Kung Fury, so it's probably like, yes. the right time. Maybe to prime. I just mean like there was a time when like airplane, like you said, uh -huh. or, like hot shots, like spoofs were a little more mainstream. Then they kind of went the way of the scary movie six, where it's like this doesn't, this shouldn't exist. This is bad. 13, no, it died. Thirteen year olds like this. Right? Scary movie brought it back, and then it died again. <laughs> and, it and I think it. this yeah. could have been a resurgence. Totally. If, you know, if it would have been a, a bigger marketed thing. But I understand yeah. they didn't have the ability to do that at the time. But my my final thoughts is this is a great movie. Movie, uh, especially if you have something you want to watch in a group yeah uh, th this is this is like the definition of like a fun movie for a, a, a pile of dudes just to watch and be like what the fuck is that and like everyone's laughing at something no and if you're into this sort of thing like, like especially if anything we have said sounds good uh, totally go see it and I do not eat farts and I guess that's the bottom line is this is this was basically perfect but I'm giving it a nine because I, I want to leave room for f for future tens and I hope that that this team does like more stuff so I'm sad that it's been several years and I haven't heard about any more stuff. Hmm. All right, guys. So uh, obviously this is a thumbs up movie for both of us. Let us know in the comments what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire and we'll see you next time. Hello, Internet. I just love watching Just Taggers. If you've enjoyed this video as much as I have, click that subscribe button. <laughs> uh, peace out, homies.